David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson aren't the only famous faces that you'll recognise in The X-Files. Here are nine actors who you'll definitely recognise now, but probably didn't back then. In 1996, a baby-faced Ryan Reynolds found himself at the mercy of two classmates who seemed to believe Carrie was an instructional documentary. Offering the girls a ride home, Reynolds is told that a local satanic cult is seeking a blonde virgin as their next victim. And the next day, he's found hanging from a cliff. The reason? A rare planetary alignment has imbued the two teenage girls with murderous energy. Because X-Files. A decade before Breaking Bad, Brian Cranston played an unlikable racist whom Mulder drives across country to prevent his head from exploding. Despite being a nasty piece of work, the audience ultimately felt sorry for Cranston's character, which is exactly what Vince Gilligan, Breaking Bad creator and writer of this episode, was looking for in Walter White. And that's not the only Breaking Bad connection. Oh yeah, dudes! Welcome to your dumbass show, I Seven years before he won over audiences as Jesse, a 22-year-old Aaron Paul was cast as a teenager whose friends are being eaten alive by flies. The episode was penned by writer Thomas Schnauz, who also scripted Breaking Bad and currently works on its spin-off, Better Call Saul. Before becoming one of the world's best assassins in Kill Bill, Lucy Liu played a leukemia sufferer whose father tries to raise money for her surgery by taking part in a supernatural game. A game where participants either win cash or lose an organ. Spoiler, things work out a lot better for Liu than they do for this guy. Singer Michael Bublé had a blink-and-you'll-miss-it background role as a sailor trapped on board a ship with an unpleasant infection that causes victims to become possessed by black oil in their eyes. Incidentally, Bublé was reportedly kicked off set for stealing a hot dog from Duchovny's table. At just 13 years old, Shia LaBeouf landed one of his first credited roles as a boy with liver problems. His vulnerable, callow character provides the central motivation for the episode's lead, a man who tries to use his supernaturally good luck to raise the $100,000 needed for Little Shire's treatment. You might recognise Jewel State as Serenity's convivial mechanic. Seven years before she donned the overalls of Kaylee Fry in Joss Whedon's Firefly, a 13-year-old State played a teenage kidnapping victim in season three of The X-Files. In Bad Blood, one of the show's most famous episodes, Luke Wilson is a Texan sheriff who, depending on whether you believe Scully or Mulder's version of events, is either devastatingly gorgeous or this. Y'all must be the government people. The popularity of the episode certainly put Wilson on the map for fans of the show. Although Jack Black had done a fair bit of TV and film work prior to his appearance in The X-Files, he wasn't yet a household name. In DPO, he played the teenage friends of a boy played by Giovanni Ribisi, who you'll also recognise from films like Avatar and Saving Private Ryan, who'd harnessed the power of lightning and used it on those who crossed him. So forget Juilliard or Guildhall, it was The X-Files where these nine actors cut their teeth. There you go. Check out how The X-Files influenced two decades of television for more on the show's impact, and if you want to make more time for sci-fi shows, here are eight that you should binge watch.